Hi everyone, this is Blake Anderson and in this video I'm going to cover how you can create a cool looking slideshow in Final Cut. Uh, so if you have photography that you want to feature in one of your videos, uh, let's say on Instagram or on YouTube, uh, you can quickly use these techniques to add photography to your um, videos. So in this video I'm going to cover how you can do this for yourself, how you can create a border around your pictures, as well as how you can you know add it to the beat as well as edit them in a sequence so that they move very quick. Uh, so in this video I'm going to cover how you can do this for yourself in Final Cut. Uh, if you like this video please like and subscribe. Thanks and have a great day. Hi, so I'm in Final Cut Pro and I've created a project here uh, with 23 frames per second uh, in a 4K timeline. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take photos that I've developed uh, before uh, featuring here in the Toronto area, the beaches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all these pictures and I'm going to drag them into my timeline. And that's going to ask me then how I want to import these clips and I'm going to keep it to a 4k timeline and I'm going to keep the resolution and make the frame rate uh, 23 frames um, per second 23 over 9 and I'm going to keep it to ProRes and then the key to make this go much faster because this will take about you know two minutes to go through which is fine but I mean, especially for Instagram, you're going to generally want things to be quicker. So in order to do that, you're going to click on the timeline here, and you're going to double click, and you're going to set uh, it to, let's say, 20 seconds. So that's going to go to every um, 20 frames, it's going to uh, go to the next picture. And I'm just going to zoom out here a little bit to show you. But yeah, so you can see it, it rotates it through. Now you could make this 30, let's say you want it a little bit uh, slower. You can make it 30 and you can make it 10 even. If you really want it to go fast or perhaps even, you know, let's say five, uh, that would make it in, you know, I guess that's pretty quick, right? It's six seconds going through the whole slides, but I'm gonna do it to 30 here because then it's gonna make it about 37 seconds going through roughly uh, I would say about 30 pictures. And so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Epidemic Sound and find some audio. And you know, typically I like hip hop, so I'm going to go into hip hop. And so where's hip hop? Uh, right here. And then I'm going to pick the song. So I like that song. I'm going to keep that. So I'm going to download it. And you, you know, you can use obviously any other kind of audio um, site in order to get audio. You don't necessarily need audio, but could also you know maybe with Instagram you could also just use the audio that you get there but in this case I'm going to use the licensed audio that I got from Epidemic Sound and usually I dial it back a little bit so it's not so loud and you know this is just to kind of obviously make it a little more eventful of a slideshow but the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select all these pictures and I'm going to duplicate them because what I want to do is I want to blur the background and yeah, make it just kind of a cool look so that uh, I'll show you I guess basically when I finish here but what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this and I'm going to make this uh, new compound clip and I'm going to call this I guess let's just say base um, base level and then I'm going to make this much bigger so I'm going to make it about a scale maybe let's say 300 and that way it shows you you know that it takes out um, takes up um, you know the full kind of canvas right and then I'm going to add a Gaussian blur so in my effects I'm going to go down here to blur and I'm going to just drop Gaussian blur on there as you see it it blurs the background and the final key thing to do then is to create um, a border so I'm going to click in here simple Actually, sorry, go up to the top here, put all video and audio, and a simple border right there, right? So I'm going to drop that on the first clip, and I'm going to change this to white. So just, actually, I'll show you what I'm doing here. So I'm going to put my time timeline here, and <clears throat> I'm going to make this a little bit skinnier, so I'm going to say 7, maybe. 
and it looks good here perhaps dial it back just a bit, bit in terms of making it not so uh, strong and that way i have a blur uh, a border you know and another thing i could do is i could angle the pictures you know slightly let's say by one you know that's a, that's effect you could do um so it makes it look like it's kind of actual like photos kind of dropping down on the canvas but just to keep things simple i'm going to keep it um just to the simple border selecting this i'm going to copy the clip and then selecting the rest of the clips i'm going to you know, use command shift v and it's going to you know allow me to paste the simple border to all the clips so that way i have now a slideshow with all my pictures with a background that's gaussian blur with also audio in the background so yeah not bad eh so that is how in final cut pro you can uh, create your own slideshow uh, very simply with using stills that you get from maybe your dslr and then you just follow those steps you paste them into a final cut timeline I could have also changed the uh, timeline. Let's say you wanted this to be a story. You could, I could have changed this to modify. Go here, go to, uh, I guess, uh, what, vertical. And then, you know, uh, maybe make it 21 over 60 over 384, uh, like a 4K timeline. And then, you know, that would have made it much looking like this. And this is probably better for Instagram and for, you know, if you want to make a story or a reel. So that's another way to consider is just uh, the timeline that you want set up as well. So I hope you liked this video. Uh, if you did like this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks and have a great day.